And welcome back to the Raven Creek incident. So, it's been a while since we've recorded since last time, but uh, as you know, we cleared out the outpost and we have just a little teensy little problem. We could, theoretically, walk out, take this, well, we could take this road, Looks like a dirt road, if I had to assume correctly. All the way until there, but here's a problem. We don't have a working vehicle. Well, this vehicle works, but it doesn't. So we need to go find one. And uh, we have quite a bit of extra. Yeah, let's go ahead and reload that. So we need to find a vehicle that works. If we find a vehicle that works, additionally, we need a, what's it called? A sledgehammer. If we can get a sledgehammer, we can break through that, and we can start driving. I'd like to take this Humvee, but there's no key for the Humvee, so we're kind of fucking SOL on that front. Let's see. Yeah, it's case keys. How many of these did I go through? More than my fair share. Jesus. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's open up uh, a few boxes about, I don't know. Yeah, just open them all up. Fuck it. Because we're going to reload many of these. Including putting all this back. So, time to reload the magazine. Well, as many as I can get my hands on. Jesus Christ. Okay, we gotta make our way back to the uh, fire station anyway. Because we need to drop off a bunch of stuff we don't need. Oh my god. Plus, additionally... If we're gonna leave this city, I want a vehicle that works anyway. And now that we have plenty of ammunition to load, we'll be set. Well, to load is the wrong word. We have plenty of ammunition to work with. Reload another 30 bullets. God bless guns. But fuck me, I use so many magazines. I want that M40, by the way. I'm going to get it. Anyway, how has everybody been doing since I've been gone? Hope we've been doing well. Hope you don't mind me. Just not really a lot to talk about right now. Also because our hopes and dreams were shattered. Because we can't leave that way. So we're going to have to do the next best thing. As much as good gears there is, we can't really transport all of it right now. 27 bullets. The good news is, yes, yes, I know. Our reloading skill is getting up there pretty damn quick. Oh, hello. Well, that's all our 556 five, ammo. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, put all of them back. After the 45 ACP, it is, which we're also going to throw in there. And, best part is, with our AKC, we've got a suppressor. So we can do shit like that. And we don't even have to worry about it. We also need a desperate change of clothes. What do you have? Nothing. And a shave. So as much as I love having military gear, it's not really, like, relevant. Relevant's the wrong word. It's not very viable long term. And I need to shave. So yeah. As much as I want to, this uh this episode's gonna be kind of a cleanup real quick. I believe I do have yeah, fine, we'll carry the rifle. We're gonna have to drop this rifle off along with uh everything else. We are gonna keep the USP though. USP is actually a good gun. That, and I'm kind of a sim for HK. I think it's actually not that far. And then we're going to search around these surrounding areas. I guarantee one of those places has a car we can use. So we're going to go find it. As well as a new jacket and clothing. Really, if there was a... Sh well, jacket, clothing, razor... There's also supposed to be a helicopter event. What do you want? I cleared out an entire military checkpoint. You think one zombie can scare me? Miles Reese? The man, the myth, the legend? Although, myth and a legend is subjective at that point. Anyway, there's not really a whole lot going on. That's fine. We'll take stock of what we have. And we need to drop off a bunch of equipment. What do you use? A 45 ACP double stack. What do you have? A 45 ACP? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Right, we're sleeping in a fucking tent. Oh, hello. Hey, man. How you doing? Come on. Outside. I don't like corpses inside. Oh, hello. Any more of you fuckers? Wait, is that a river? Well, we are on a creek. Let's see what the map says. We're actually right next to the creek. So, in a way, that kind of works out. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh, right, I was dropping off a bunch of shit that I don't need. <laughs> I forgot I got an HK and Mark 23 handgun. Again, that's a, that's a chonky handgun. Alright, put the single stacks away. Right now, put all these away. We don't even need these. As much as I like having them, they are just taking up space. 762 by 39. 9 by 9 extended. Put all the wait, I need those. Where's those double stacks? Oh no, I have the double stack. Put the uh, gas can away because we don't need it. We are going to keep that and we're going to keep the box 45 and the MRE. So we're going to keep a few things. Put the gun cleaning kits away. Put the Molotov cocktail away. We don't need fire. Fire is a bad thing. Put the Colt M4 away. And we're going to take that baseball bat. Oh, and... Put away the Swedish AK-5. What 
We don't need you right now. As well as the Glock 17 and the Hand Axe. Again, just a lot, whole lot of uh, weapons we don't really need. Well, it's, not need is the wrong phrase. It's uh, taking up room we're not even using. There we go. Put it away. Wait, do you have a magazine in you? You need a magazine to operate. Okay, I'll put you away then. Trigger group, AK, AR pattern, uh, attach you to the back, it's your baseball bat, and you'd be kind of worth it. Okay, well I've cleaned up quite a, quite a few, put the lighter away, we don't need a lighter, and we don't need an asp. Okay, black fireman gloves. And we have a USP that we're going to use, mostly. Tell me, is there... Uh, what's in there? Nothing. You wouldn't happen to have a razor, would you? Hmm, no. Okay, that's fine. We will, however, not do that. Wash ourselves, yes. Wash all clothing, because uh, we got a lot of fucking blood on it. Then, we're going to fill our water bottle. Because having a uh, available drinking water is nice. And go to sleep for the day. We still have plenty of time to leave by October 31st. Yes. Sleep away. It's now the 8th of September. We really need another sheet. Especially for the door. You know, I did kind of forget that was on the ground. We will eat some ice cream. Just give us some quick calories. I think I'm going to remove one of these sheets because I'm never going to go into this room. Pick it up. That's okay. I'll find one to replace it. But I'm going to go into the place where I'm also going to be sleeping. In this case... Oops. Uh, it's not what I meant to do. Uh, then again, that's exactly what I meant to do. Place you. And then we're just going to rip you off the wall. There we go. Then we'll go up here. And we'll add a sheet. There we go. Close the curtains. Now we're set. Let's uh pick this up too. Okay, now that the glass is removed. We go in here, our little hide site is secured. It's a nice crisp 71 degrees. Okay, maybe the ambulance works. Maybe I checked it already. I don't remember. Or maybe the ambulance is locked. That could also be a thing. 
Oh. Oh. Are you telling me I can't get in through the ambulance? Damn you. Okay. That's fine. We're still going to search these houses. Search these houses, search over there. That's what we're going to spend the, the day doing. And getting a new change of clothes on top of it. So that also means we have to raid every house. If the helicopter event happens, which it more than likely will, we're going to go ahead and find ourselves back at our fireman base. I say it's a base. I know this is meant to be more nomadic play style, but it's also... I have another goal in mind, which in this case is getting a working vehicle. Secondary objective, getting a... Uh, I guess I had a key for that. I didn't realize. Round neck sweater, hoodie, fanny pack, satchel. Don't really need a hoodie. Not right now. You know what I would love is to have a razor. There was actually a moment where I was freaking out beforehand where I thought I was going to lose everything. And it was because I didn't have, or I guess uh, one of the mod authors uh, for some of the many mods I'm using just took his mod. I thought that was a key. No. Took his mod uh, off the market. Market's the wrong word. He took his mod off, and uh, I thought, oh shit, but someone had re-uploaded it, thank god. Because that was a bunch of progress I was potentially going to lose. Thankfully, I didn't. So, thank you, other mod author, who generously did that. Hmm. Again, I'm kind of hoping I can find a vehicle fuck yeah i guess i'm going back for my ak it's suppressed too so that's that's literally the benefit of having it much as i love having my baseball bat we're gonna put you right back I would, we're going to grab my AK along with, I don't know, three magazines extra. That should be more than enough. Plus we have our uh, USP just in case. Which, by the way, God bless the USP. It's a great little gun. Yeah, there it is. Attach that to the back. And grab a... I'll throw you in there. One, two, three, and four. Okay, apparently that's too much. Okay, that's fine. That's the thing. Having a suppressed weapon is so much better. Because it means I can take out zombies without a look. I mean, they can still hear it up to a certain point, but at least I can take out zombies in a relatively uh, far distance. And in large groups like that where I don't want to fight, I have a weapon to deal with it. Now I've only got I can get a pistol suppressor. Oh, then I'd be golden. Looks like some of them shifted downwards. We're still going to check this house over here.
So let's check. Wait, no, we just checked that one out. Never mind. Let's see. Do any of them have any? Oh, oh I see you, sir. And like that, he's dead. This is why I have suppressed weapons. And why I was yearning for a suppressor. Ah! Okay, nope, back up. Let's get a nice long. I see. Any more? Anyone else want to take a bite at me? I put a flashlight on this weapon. Is it a... Uh... No battery. Oh, because there's not a battery. Oh, fucking... Twiddle dee, twiddle dum. Who would have guessed that's the one thing that I'm missing? I could wear the sleeves rolled down, but it just looks a lot cooler. And honestly, that's the one thing in the zombie apocalypse that all matters. It's the cool factor. I hear something. Hmm. Adhesives. Damn it. D is there like. Ah! 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 Hi! 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 Jesus. New clothes. It's a start. You know what I'd really love? Fucking razor. So I could shave my face. Eh, whatever. Still got three plus one, so I got four rounds. Hmm. Well, there's another group to take out. Reload. Yeah. Uh, change the fire mode? Yeah, single shot. So they don't accidentally commit the uh the atrocity button. Again, make sure. This is why we have a suppressor on the gun. Because of shit like this. Okay, they're dead. Uh, 
Oh, where did you come? Bye. I think it's still hear it. It's just within a very limited... Okay. Mm. There's a fireplace. That is something we could use. Though really I want an antique oven more than anything. Hmm. Canned peaches is always good. Maybe you. Alright, I need a battery. Where can I get? That's probably a stupid question. Let's turn you on. Maybe you can shed some light, literally, in this situation. I never even saw you. Turn you on. Uh, let's pick. Hold on. No, no, no. Pick this up. Is it just you no know, simple curtains that I would like? I wonder. Right now, well, it says I can wear it. Oh, open or closed. That makes sense. I'm wearing a vest. I forgot I'm wearing a vest. There's a lot of things you tend to forget here. Hmm. What about you? Lipstick. That's what I need. Fucking lipstick. Ah, oh, looks like somebody's been living in the attic. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I used to live in a basement. And again, the basement's filled with bugs. But so are the attics. And again, you gotta take the good with the bad. And I live in my own house. Soon, not for much longer. I'm gonna be getting rid of this and going somewhere else for a new job. And it's gonna be a fun time. Don't worry, I'm still going to do all of this, all this Raven Creek stuff. Don't worry. In fact, I have other plans for other things, but obviously I want to get some footage out for this so people can think I haven't abandoned this, because pr I promise I have not. I've just been busy. Hello? Whoop! Goes the weasel. In fact... The Raven Creek incident has been very successful, and holy shit, I have gotten a fuck ton of new subscribers. Not from the Raven Creek incident. That has been just a a byproduct of other things. Ah, this was a police officer. No, that has been because of my recent review and that teaser, which, by the way, uh, as of right now, it, at least from when I last saw it, it was up to like 50-ish thousand views uh which as of this recording 58 good fucking god hello hello there goodbye there Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Come on. Well, I'm down to two bullets. The smart thing would be to reload. But... An MC-80S. CS. 
CQB model. Well, you're coming with me. You are a, a shotgun. I like having a shotgun. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's reload now, because we're about to go through uh, Angerville. Okay, I've got a fresh magazine. Let's just go the opposite direction. Thank you, assholes. Oh, no. I have made mistake. Fuck. Fuck. What? Hello? Oh, it just had the one round in it. Oh, you son of a bitch. God. Okay, time to go. Sorry. <laughs> this expedition has been a fucking... I went in under with less than ideal ammunition. I thought it was going to be a nice easy day. That was a lie. It's not even 7 in the morning. Wonderful. Honestly, my best bet might be able to take it back to the city. And again, I can always check around the Humvee. Maybe there is a... Uh... Again, even if I could, there's no way out without a sledgehammer. What are you? I need to do some investigation of you further. Okay. Okay. I need a sledgehammer. Again, let's double check. Maybe there is. That I don't even need a sledgehammer. 